The green flag flies on the Amsoil Pro Open, and Ross Martin takes the early lead. His biggest threat, number 68 Tucker Hibbert, stalks him through 13 grueling laps. With five laps to go, the top two riders face a new obstacle, lap traffic. Martin weaves through the other riders as Hibbert is hot on his trail. Martin makes a move and starts to pull away from number 68. But Hibbert doesn't fold. And then, Hibbert makes his move to pass Martin and jumps into first place. Hibbert extends his lead and Martin strives to keep up. But Tucker pulls away. With one lap to go, Martin fights to keep up with Hibbert. As the checkered flag flies, Tucker Hibbert wins the Amsoil Pro Open. Definitely the competition's getting, getting stronger. That's what's good about racing. You always gotta be on your toes or, or someone's gonna come and knock you off your spot. But we're in a position to, to keep getting better just like they are. So, you know, it's just up to whoever can work the smartest and, and figure out the way to, to be stronger each weekend. So, and I'm excited about the, the races to come to see if we can build on what we did here this weekend. Trust me, you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna win some races, man. Hopefully a lot of them. I don't think that uh, everybody else has got to be just like, holy sh You know what I'm saying? It's a long year. We're coming out of here with two second place finishes. I mean, sh bud. That's better than last year. You got nothing to hold your head down on. I know, second ain't easy. We're going to get them. I'd say this weekend was a little bit frustrating, you know. Everyone's kind of out there just to kill it, and it's only the first race. We have a long season ahead of us. I think it's going to be a battle to the end. It's not going to be, you know, we got another race and someone's got it won already. It's, I think it's going to be a battle, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, and can't wait. We'll have to see what, what it brings. So this treated me better than last year for sure, but uh, I'm definitely not walking away with no bumps and bruises. I, I'm pretty excited about how the weekend went. Uh, it definitely went better than last year. It's been a year to date since I've uh, since I've raced a snowmobile, so to just get thrown out front like that, I mean, my team did a great job, Polaris uh, and Fox Shocks and Hinch's Racing. I mean, they they got me up front. It was it was awesome. And normally I'm I don't get that great of starts because I'm usually late on the trigger or something. But I know I have the speed and. Um, you know, I know I have the equipment, uh, so all I got to do is just put 20 solid laps together, and and I know I can I can win some races this year for sure. Like honestly, Tucker to pass Ross Martin was bang bang down the hill like hitting the faces, and he almost fell off. And he just 
up. Yeah, and he just that he got lucky that he made it, you know, like that close between making it and falling off. Like he took a chance to do that. No one's just going bang, bang. Through. Yeah, nobody made it clean anywhere. Third, third and fourth at Duluth, it's a good start. We got some work to do, but we'll keep working. Keep working. And then when we got into the lap traffic, that hurt. But the lap traffic is 100% that causes the work to do the win, you know what I'm saying? Ross looked smoother than Tucker did. Way smoother. He added. But hey, like me and you said before, he's beatable now. Yeah. And he knows it. Next on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series, the racers travel to Fargo for the Dakota Magic Fargo National. Will Tucker continue to lead the pack? Find out next week on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series.